What's going on YouTube? Jason right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you running iOS 13.3, 13.2, 13.1 and so on if you want a jailbreak. Of course this is primarily for the iPhone 10, iPhone 7, iPhone 8, iPhone 6 and so on because the iPhone 10s, 10s Max and 10R and the iPhone 11 already have a jailbreak but the others do not support the uncover for the moment. So a new exploit will be released by Jake James which will basically allow us to update the uncovered jailbreak much easier for the iOS 13.3 and so on even for the A10, A11 and A9 and so on devices which are currently not supported by the uncover because of the offsets issue. Now you probably know Brendan Azad released the OOB timestamp exploit in here. He said quote OOB timestamp is a proof of concept research exploit that exports the kernel task port on 13.3 17c54 on the iPhone 12.3. And this is basically what the uncovered jailbreak uses for the moment for the iOS 13.3 all the way down to 13.0 on the iPhone XS, XS Max, XR and the iPhone 11. But the iPhone 10, iPhone 8, iPhone 7, iPhone 6 and so on are not supported on iOS 13. People still have to use the check range jailbreak for those. Well the main issue is that this exploit isn't exactly very well made, it's not exactly complete and uh, there are a couple of fixes that need to be done in order to avoid using offsets and stuff like that which basically made it very hard to update the uh, exploit for other devices. Well Jake James apparently wanted to fix that and he is releasing his own exploit based on the same vulnerability and of course he posted in here quote code available in here exploitation after is the same as Brendan Azad and I will probably be rewriting all functions by Brendan Azad my own way before turning it into a full exploit and he will list this in here which says leak address of segment list in OOB timestamp and then he proceeded to post this in here he said ATA soon so this is going to come soon and he posted a picture in which he shows the exploit basically running and getting TFP0 perfectly fine so this is actually very good because this means that we're going to get a much better exploit much more stable and without the need of offset which for some reason were very hard to find properly because they change from a device to another on OOB timestamps so this one would basically allow us to get a much more stable jailbreak even for the A12 and A13 but most importantly for the iPhone 7, 6, iPhone 7 Plus, iPhone 8 and stuff like that which are currently not supported at all on iOS 13 by the uncover because of the lack of offsets properly working on those devices. And then Jake posted this in here, for your information the exploit is done, only cleanup is left and my goal is doing it without leaking memory like Brendan Zad does. Sadly the heap is too messed up so I don't know how long it will take but basically the point of this exploit is to not have any hard-coded memory addresses which apparently seem to change anyways from a device to another making it very hard to make the OB timestamp exploit to work with all the devices that we have. For example I tried one of the addresses that the uncovered team found for the iPhone 7 Plus on my device using the OB timestamp and surprise surprise it didn't work the device panicked. I had to actually find find my own address by calculating it for my particular device but in that case it means that it's completely useless for anybody else who doesn't have my device. So you can see why OOB timestamp isn't exactly a very reliable exploit for jailbreaking. Well Jake James says doesn't require any hard-coded address so you don't have to find them which means that is definitely a much better exploit to use in order to update the uncover and it will support 13.3 all the way down to 13.0 possibly even 12 if tweaked. Now 13.3.1 will not be supported that is not supported by Brendan Zad's OOB timestamp and will not be supported by Jake James's exploit either. The reason for that is that the vulnerability itself, shared by both exploits, doesn't support 13.3.1. It has been patched in there. So yeah, we should expect the uncovered jailbreak to be updated for the iPhone 7, 7 Plus, 8, 8 Plus, 6, 6 Plus and stuff like that very soon once we get that exploit. So yeah, thank you for watching, I am Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.